Hello everyone, welcome to Gloucester Railworks. My name is James and today we'll be doing another Kestrel building kit because I'm basically waiting for more stuff for my so I can actually make trains and I haven't cleaned up properly. Um, <laughs> so yes, that's it. As I said in my other Kestrel build video, um, just waiting for bits and pieces for my other train buildings, oh, train building kit. And um, so yeah, I need some subs for my uh, um, test track, and these are cheap and hopefully cheerful. Right, let's get to something and see what we've got to deal with. One thing about much easier. There we go. There we go. Let's get this that way. And get all, all the pieces out. There we go. Don't know that's a bit of that. Right. That's the front. That's the back. That's some sides. I think that's the middle. Um, there's the roof on a very messy sprue, which they haven't cleaned, well they basically just pulled it apart. Uh, some guttering. And unlike my other one, it does come with glazing. Two bits of glazing. So I haven't lost any pieces. Oh, there's another one. And there's a fourth, there we go, that's for the main windows, that's at least something. And have I got enough for... Uh, let's see, five, ten... Uh, five, ten... Yeah, it looks like I have just enough. Yeah, I don't have any spares. Yeah. Lots of bits and pieces. Not quite as simple as the previous Kestrel kit, but so compared to everyone else, this is actually not all that bad. So yeah, we're using the usual rail plastic cement because it works quite nicely on the stuff. Uh, I've also got my big metal file to clean off all the sprues, and um, yeah. If that just fits in without any work. No, it looks like I do have to do a bit of Oh no, wait. Huh. Yeah, that'll fit in. And um, obviously you can paint these and do a bit more work on them other than just leaving them as is. Uh, you can add glazing to the windows because you don't get any but um, yeah I'll talk more about that after the build so here we go onto my normal um, say time lapses whatever however my method is um, <laughs> anyway here we go and I'll stop rambling so. And here we go, a more or less completed model. There's still a few bits which uh, just need to be drying, but uh, we'll see. There we go. Yes, not that bad. It's a bit more complicated than the shirt, but all in all, it's a simple model. Um, how I'd, I'd improve this? So first of all, coat of paint, add some you no. Know, Putting the mortar and all that a lot, uh, glazing for the windows and the door. I paint the doors on both sides, just so that there's, as you see, they're, well, they're just unpainted, and the other side that's not quite even doors. Um, 
Maybe what else? Uh, I could put in. Well, since you can see foodies quite clearly, you could put something on the inside uh, to basically make it look like that there's stuff in the shop. Uh, put some signs up. Know what type of store it is. You know. If you're me, you put. No. There you go, co-op or something like that. <laughs> Pull that back up here. Maybe use that in a layout sometime. Um, yeah, you can make this into you know, a shop here, a shop here. You know, put some stuff on the inside. Uh, pretty much just finding bits to put around here, really. Here you can have a big poster or something like that. But there. Is that cheap and mostly cheerful kit. The tops of the chimneys would need to be painted black. If I had any black that is, I'd have to find some. Or make some using the spray paint. Uh, yeah. So it cost me about a tenner like the other one. So it's still a bit if you hear about I've put it aside somewhere to dry. It smells horrible because of dirty glue, but um <laughs> Yeah. Not bad I say. Anyway, this has been James from Gospel Fireworks and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye now.